I'm live. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? <laughs> Holy moly. I'm laughing because my device that I use to do my lives, it just broke. Like, legitly broke as I was hitting the live button. So, yeah, that's one of those things where it kind of coincides with I'm not good enough, right? Okay, so we're gonna hand hold this and I'm sorry for the wiggly jigglies, whatevers, but I'm gonna go against what this lie is in this chapter three of I'm not good enough, cause I am good enough. We're gonna make this work, right guys? Okay, so chapter three, I'm not good enough is the title. Um, it's all about being a workaholic. If you are a workaholic, raise your hand. I know I am. So this chapter really spoke to me in so many different ways because I have this personal obsession to get everything done. I want everything done all the time. And I don't like things lingering and I don't like things out there and stuff. And sometimes I'm kind of like a squirrel and I take on way more than I can handle. Example of why I'm going live early tonight because I am helping with my son's choir. So anyway, um, some of the major lines that I got out of this was, do I feel compelled to work nonstop? My answer is yes. Um, let me see here. I got in the habit of working, working, working some more. Every time I succeeded in business, I counted it as validation that I was making the right choice. Some of the other things that um, stood out was I needed to prove my worth, coupled with the fact that I'm good at my career, made me one heck of a workaholic, yet I had no idea that I was one or that, I, that my work was grievously affecting my health and my happiness of my family. So something that I personally struggle with a lot is the balance between work and my kids. And so as a single mom, it's a little challenging sometimes to make those balances, you know, equate out. Um, and so I've had to work really hard on pulling back on the work front so that I can give my kids more time. Because really time is the biggest thing. And so one of the things I actually did today for myself, and it's funny because I actually, I kind of cheated and I read the chat, reread this chapter again today after I did something for myself. And the thing that I did for myself today was I left work early and I came home and I took an hour long nap. And it was the best thing that I think I could have ever done because I knew that my body needed it. Rachel talked a lot about in this chapter how she was working so hard that it ca caused her to have vertigo, Bell's palsy. I mean, those are some pretty massive things because she was working so much that she wasn't staying in tune with what her body needed whether it was, you know, food requirements, drinking, you know, water, taking care of your health, just, you know, sleep deprivation, all of those things. So sometimes it's okay to just stop and just take a breather, you know, go out and enjoy the weather, go spend some time with your kids, go on a walk with your spouse, go on a dinner date, go on, you know, go do some bowling, sit down and watch a, a Harry Potter, you know, movie marathon all weekend. So, you know, anything like that. Some of the things that are pretty helpful that you can do is you can go to therapy. And I will tell you, I've been to therapy. I've been to therapy many, 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 many times. I have battled internally with depression, with anxiety. I've been on medication. And one of the biggest things I enjoyed about therapy was the lesson of self-care. And if you guys are following me on, you know, Facebook and Instagram, you will notice that I'm a very big, big advocate for self-care. 
Another thing is, is when you hustle, hustle for joy. Don't just do the hustle because it has to be done. Do it because it brings you joy. It brings you things to your life. So whether that is, you know, taking a walk, taking a bubble bath, having a glass of wine, going for a long lunch, do something that brings you joy. And the final thing um, that you can do to help yourself with this is she reordered her list. So think of the things that are priority for you, whether that is your family, um, your partner, your work, your faith, whatever it is. But it doesn't have to be in any necessary order. Um, some of the other things I wanted to just point out with this chapter is um, avoid let avoid letting people's opinion about your life form you. Whoa, sorry. So this is what happens when you hold the phone. <laughs> you are just enough for your goals. Make conscious efforts to silence that tiny voice in your head that tells you that you are not good enough. Because guess what, ladies? You guys are all good enough. You deserve the very, very best. Don't wallow in self-pity. Make active decisions today that will have positive effects in your life. Don't attribute your ordeal to anyone. Take full responsibility and correct what needs to be corrected. So I'm hoping you guys enjoyed chapter three as much as I did. It definitely is making me personally reassess my workaholic um, addictions that I have personally. And I'm going to call it an, ad an addiction because that's what it is. I think it's my way of escaping from reality. And so I put my heart and my soul into work instead of putting my heart and my soul into myself. So we'll see you guys on Monday to cover chapter four. And chapter four is the lie. I'm better than you. So see you guys on Monday. Have a great and fabulous weekend. And if you guys are here up in Barrow, go enjoy that weather because it is absolutely gorgeous outside. We'll see you guys later.